welcome back beauties here's another video of me testing out human hair for the boho knotless braid style i received three 20 inch bundles and a texture of loose wave this hair is bulk hair so you, it is already off the track you don't have to worry about cutting it off the track to put it into the braids it's already ready to go and there are no small hairs which is a good thing because when you pay for a bundle you want it to actually be full and not just filled up with small hairs. I spray the human hair down with water, therefore it makes it easier when I am dividing the hair out. You can either use water or gel, but I just prefer water, therefore I'm not putting heavy product on the hair. This bundle came so full and very soft. I really love the feel of this hair. The hair has a silky texture, but it's not silky as in slippery silky. It's a texture that makes it easy for you to braid with this hair but also have a nice feel when it comes to the human hair. It's kind of hard to explain the feel of the hair, but it is good quality, high quality. Most of the hair that has been sent to me so far has the same feel when it comes to the hair, where it just feels nice and thick and easy to use when it comes down to braids. You guys, this is a clip of me filling up my braiding rack, and this is me just using one bundle of human hair so far. I haven't even touched the second bundle and this is the remaining of my first bundle. I was able to fill up my braiding rack and still have some left over. Overall, I used a total of two bundles and a little bit of the third bundle for this full style. When I got done with her hair, it was so lightweight yet full and easy to style. This style was done with human hair only and no braiding hair was added to this set. so. I've already done a video of me doing braids with only human hair, but with that video, I did it bigger. This one, I was like, let me try to do it smaller. I started off with my client's natural hair and I always do a knotless method. So I braided her hair once and then I added in the human hair and I started to braid down a little bit, about two inches. And when I put in my human hair, I make sure that I have that left over on one side so that can help me grip her natural hair with the human hair and i also added in a strand of human hair but i just folded it in half and braided it in so it can give me a little bit more thickness to the braid because that's what i was struggling with in the beginning because my parts were so small so because of that i didn't have much of my client's natural hair to work with so i had to build the braid with a little bit of human hair so far i have two human hair curls added to my braid and i'm adding in the third one right now i make sure that i braid at least one time before i pull it up and out of my way then i continue to braid down as i start to get to the end of my braid i'm going to add in two human hair pieces so here's my first one and then I'm going to stitch one time and then add in another human hair strand. And I'm going to continue to braid down, add in a little product and braid past where the blunt part of the human hair is. So you'll see as I'm braiding that it will poke out and I'll just continue to braid. And you see that part right there that's poking out, that's good. So now I know that it's time for me to seal my braid. I'm going to tie it in a knot. I kind of overdo it. I tie it probably four to five times. And then I get my crochet hook and I stick my crochet hook through the knot. And then I pull a tiny hair through the knot so it secures my braid. And I just clip any flyaways that I have. The more that you leave out of the braid, the fuller that it will be. For this set of human hair braids, I did seven rows on each side in the front. I did two braids for the first row, three braids for the second row, three braids for the third row, two braids for the fourth row, three braids for the fifth row, sixth row, seventh row. I love the fullness that it gave me and look how beautiful this looks already and I'm only one fourth done. The back I decided to do a little bit more bigger just so it'll be easier for me to put in the braids. Below the ear, I was able to do three rows, and then from there, I just matched my front rows. On this clip, I'm showing you guys how I braid the back. I stitched two braids, and then I added in my human hair strand. I stitched two more times, and I leave the human hair strand up, and then I braid down at least two inches, and then here I am adding in my two strands of human hair at the bottom, 
and I'm just going to continue to braid down with a little product. Braid all the way till I get past the blunt part of the other side of the human hair, if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to seal my braid by taking a little strand from the human hair, wrapping it around and tying it in a couple of knots. Grab my crochet hook, stick it through the knot that I created and pull that small hair through the knot. The hair that I am trimming from the braid is the human hair. I wish I recorded a lot more in the back so you guys can see how much braids I did per row, but I'm gonna get a little bit better at that. I'm gonna film more of the back and me doing it. This is more so how I do these braids, but if you were to do it, I would say just brick your back and you can't really go wrong with that. And when I say brick, it means like the first row I did three, the second row I will do four, and I'll do a braid in between the braids that I put in to start with. I'm going to continue to do my braid down, therefore you guys get a visual of what I am doing, but also I'm going to touch back on the company that sent me this hair. They have a lot of different curl patterns when it comes to bulk hair for your boho style. I got the loose wave in a 20 inch but they have different colors, which I love because it's hard finding colored human hair that is good quality. They also have this pre-made human hair crochet boho braids, which, oh my God, that's like changing the game. I wanna try that out so bad. Imagine like not having to sit so long to get your hair done and just crocheting in those human hair braids. Like, what? Ding, and when it comes to taking it out, you can actually save the braid itself and reuse it. That's really getting your money's worth, and based off the quality of this hair, I bet that those crochet braids are good quality too. They also have kinky texture for the bulk hair, which I definitely want to try that next to. I have asked on my last video what human hair should I try next, and someone suggested kinky hair which I thought would be so cute with some boho braids. You guys, when I say I love the size of these braids and how these braids turned out, I think my client looks absolutely gorgeous with this hair. And I didn't need to add in any braiding hair to get this fullness, so the girlies that are allergic to synthetic braiding hair have a good option. I always love testing dipping the hair in hot water just to make sure that it stays curly when you dip it. And this is a loose wave, so I started off by dipping it in the hot water and then I scrunch it up. This helps when it comes to bringing the curls back. You're just going to want to scrunch it up as it's starting to dry. Add in any leave-in conditioner or mousse that you have and as it dries, it's going to get bigger and have a nice wave curl. Or you can get out your blow dryer and diffuse the curls on a cool setting and diffuse the curls until it is dry. It will give you a nice, full, big, cute look. Just a side note, you do not have to dip the hair in hot water if you are doing only human hair. That is if you're using braiding hair and you wanna loosen up your braid a little bit, then you'll dip it in hot water. But this is just showing that you can dip it in hot water if you do decide to do these braids with braiding hair. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, don't forget to watch my other videos and subscribe if you haven't.